Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ, and today I'm going to talk about the Flu's Cashback app, which is taking a network marketing or MLM approach to cashback. Now, typically, I'm not a fan of network marketing or MLM is another word that they use for network marketing. However, I do love cashback apps like you would know if you have followed my channel for a while. I do a lot of reviews of cashback apps and that's how flus came on my radar. And so I'm going to talk about how you can earn cash back by just using the cashback portion of the app. And then there's also a network marketing and MLM option that you can use, which I'll talk about in a separate video. It'll actually be the next video that I post. So strictly talking about the cashback portion of the Flues app, I'm going to talk about how that works, how you can earn cash back, and the opportunities to earn cash back from the people that you invite. So just like any other cashback app, the Flues app allows you to earn cash back when you shop at specific retailers. So specifically with the Flues app, what you would do is you can go inside the app, you can search for different stores that you would normally shop at anyway. Just like with any other cashback app, I always recommend that you only use it to make the normal purchases that you would do on a regular basis. And so if you shop online or if you shop in store, you can still use the Flues app. One of the main differences between the Flues app and other apps that I've reviewed for cash back is that you have to go through the Flues app and you also have to go through the Flues app even if you're going to a physical location. So this isn't an app where you can earn automatic cash back, which are the type of cash back apps that I normally prefer, but if this app provides more cash back than any of the other apps that you use, then of course it would be more beneficial to you to use the Flues app and just make this slight change in how you use cash back apps. So if you were to use the Flues app, whether you're shopping online or if you're going to a physical store, what you would do is select your items at that store. Once you have the total, including tax, of what you're actually gonna spend, so if you're going to a physical store, of course, you're gonna have to go to the register and have them bring that up. Or if you're shopping online, then of course you can just do it from your phone and you don't have people waiting on you behind because you're shopping online. Then once you have that total that includes the tax, you would then go into the Flues app, select the specific store that you're shopping at and then enter the amount that you're going to spend including all of the taxes or any other shipping fees that you may have and then what you'll do is essentially purchase an e-gift card in order to pay at the store that you're shopping at. And so since this app was a little bit new to me and this is a new concept, I wanted to test the app out for myself. And so I decided to check to see what stores were available. And I noticed that one of these stores that I used for some of my cashback stacking strategies was available in the Flues app as well. And that store is Starbucks. So typically when I make a purchase at Starbucks, I use the Starbucks mobile app, which allows me to use my cashback credit card, also get rewards points, for Starbucks specifically in their app, and then also receive cash back connected to other apps that I use like the Bumped app and the Bits of Stock app where I receive stock back as my cash back reward. And so if you're not familiar with those specific apps, I do have reviews of those apps. I'll have those links in the description as well if you wanna check them out. But the reason I mentioned them is that with cash back apps, you can earn cash back in multiple different ways if it allows you to stack. And so I wanted to see if the Starbucks app would allow me to stack. And so I'll go into more details about the specifics of the cashback stacking with Starbucks. That will be in another video as well, where I talk about specifically the cashback stacking capabilities when using the Flues app and connecting it with other cashback apps. But specifically when making this purchase, instead of going all the way through with the purchase, when you go in the Starbucks app, what you would do for a mobile order specifically, you select the store that you're going to shop at, you then select whatever drink or food items that you're going to purchase, and then you go to the checkout page. Now, once you're on the checkout page, of course, like I mentioned before, you will need to have the total including taxes that you're going to pay at Starbucks. Once you have that total, you will now transition back to the Flues app. You're going to search for Starbucks and then you're going to select to purchase a gift card in the amount that you need in order to pay for your Starbucks purchase. And so when I made this purchase, I specifically chose a $10 e-gift card. And I'll tell you more about why I chose $10 specifically later, but I chose $10. I paid for that gift card within the Flues app. And once I made that payment, I was then given a code to use 
as a gift card, which I will then use at Starbucks or within the Starbucks app to pay for my purchase. And so once I have that code or that number for the gift card, it'll also give me a PIN number. I now go back to the Starbucks app and then I choose to add a payment option and I'm gonna add a gift card to the Starbucks app. And that is what allows me to pay so that Flues can recognize and give me the cash back that I earn by using their application while still using the Starbucks app or whatever store you choose to make your purchase at, whether it's online or at the physical location or via the app, like in this case with the Starbucks app, and earn that cash back with Flues and get my points for Starbucks. Now, the specific reason I suggested a $10 gift card at minimum with Starbucks, which it doesn't have to be Starbucks, it could be any of the stores available in the Flues app, is that when you use a referral link, like the referral link that I'll have available that you can click on in the description below, you will receive three 35% vouchers to receive cash back at select stores within the Flues app. And so with these vouchers, you can receive up to $3.50 cash back. In order to maximize on the cash back that you're gonna receive with those three vouchers, you'd want to use it on a purchase that's at least $10. Now, if your purchase is more than $10, you're only gonna get that 35% up to $10 and then anything above $10, you would get whatever the normal cash back would be for that store. And so in my specific example of going to Starbucks, let's say I spent $20 at Starbucks instead of just 10, I'll get a 35% voucher, which would be considered or which would be awarded towards the first $10. And then I'll get 2% towards the next $10, giving me a total of $3.70 in total cash back on that one purchase if I were to include the voucher. And like I mentioned, when you use my referral link to join Flues, you will receive three vouchers for that 35% cash back up to a $10 spend. And so examples of stores where you can get or where you can use your 35% voucher are Domino's, Papa John's, Chipotle, Uber Eats, and DoorDash. Of course, once you sign up for the app using my referral link, you can check to see which stores would actually be beneficial for you, stores that you normally shop at anyway, not using it just to get the cash back. You wanna only use these cash back apps for stuff that you would buy anyway. Now, once you've earned cash back, in the Flues app, you may wanna know how do I actually spend my cash back or how do I use all of the cash back that I'm gonna earn by using their app. And so with the Flues app, what you'll do is once you've reached a minimum of $26 balance in your cash back wallet, once you reach that $26 limit, you can transfer it via an ACH transfer to your checking account, or you can link your PayPal account and transfer that cash to your PayPal account. And so the other great thing about having those 35% vouchers when you first sign up is that once you spend that $10 and you're getting a $3.50 voucher, if you were to also invite five people to where you're providing them with three vouchers, you're gonna receive a voucher for every invite that you make, and then that will continue to cycle and increase the size of your network as far as people that you can earn cash back from. So if you were to use just the three vouchers that you would receive by using my referral link, and then also invite five people yourself, then you've already earned the $26 minimum threshold for cash back that you can actually withdraw from the account. And so I personally like to use the cash back that I earn whenever I use any of these cash back apps to invest into the stock market. I think of using these apps as a free way to earn money to invest in the stock market without actually investing my own money. So it's basically free money to invest. That's how I like to think about it. And specifically, I like to use M1 Finance. It is a free investing app that allows you to invest in fractional shares. What you can do is create what's called a pie, which allows you to choose up to 100 different companies that you can invest in. And all you need is a minimum of $25 to invest in any company that's available via their app. So even a company like Amazon, whose stock price is over $3,000, or Apple, who recently had a split, and now their stock is around four to $500, or Tesla, who is around the same price as well, you don't actually need 400, 500, or even $3,000 to invest. All you need is a minimum of $25. And with the cashback that you would receive, every time you withdraw from the Flues app, you already have a minimum of $26. And so once you transfer that either to your PayPal account or you transfer that to your checking account, you can then immediately also transfer that $26 into M1 Finance and you have free money that you've invested just by making the normal purchases that you will make anyway. 
and now including flus into that transaction, you're getting free money that you can invest into the stock market. And so if you're not familiar with M1 Finance, I do have review videos as well as a step-by-step -step tutorial to show you how to use the M1 Finance app. I will have a link to that video in the description. And I also have a referral link to M1 Finance, which you can use to set up an account today. So by investing your cash back, you're turning your purchases into cash, and then you're turning that cash back that you've earned into investments that you can keep going for the long term. Because as long as you live, you're going to be spending money. You might as well earn cash back for all of your purchases and then use that cash back to actually invest in the stock market so that your investments, your cash back and your purchases are actually earning you money for the long term. And so the Flu's Cashback app is one way that you can do that. And one way to increase the cash back that you receive within the Flu's app is by inviting other people. And then when you invite other people, you actually receive cash back on their purchases as well. And so if you're interested in how you can actually earn cash back from the people that you invite to the Flu's app as well, that's what I'll talk about in my next video when I go over the total network marketing portion of the Flu's app if that's something you're interested in. But if you're only interested in the Flues app and earning cash back yourself, that's what I talked about in this video. That's what you learned about. However, if you want to increase the amount of cash back that you earn by inviting people, by telling your friends and your family about this app, that's another way that you can increase the amount of cash back that you're going to receive by using the Flues app. And you're probably going to tell your friends and family anyway, if it's something that you see that is valuable for yourself, of course, you're going to tell other people and you might might as well invite those people and actually receive something back for inviting those people. Essentially creating a big network of cash back so that you can earn residual passive income. And so again, I'll have a link to that video. There will also be a link at the end of this video so that you can watch that video if the network marketing portion is something that interests you. And so what do you think about the Flu's Cashback app based on what I talked about in this video? Is this an app that you've used in the past? Based on what I talked about in this video, is this an app that you would like to test out? And if you already are a user of the Flu's app, what are the specific stores that you use consistently to get cash back and which stores give you the most cash back whenever you use the Flu's app to earn cash back? Make sure you leave those comments below. We'd love to see what you think about the app and your experience with the app if you're already a user. Thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate you taking this time out of your day. If you're not already a member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you need to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you really like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.